Hey all, welcome back to my channel. This will be the sixth video from the Microsoft Defender for Cloud App series. So in this video, we are going to discuss about Conditional Access App Control, which is one of the use case of Defender for Cloud Apps. To start with, the core agenda of today's session will be understanding what is Conditional Access App Control. We'll also see how Conditional Access App Control are protecting the applications. Now this is the typical scenario where users are using the company provided devices to access the corporate data. So when I say company devices, I am referring to hybrid Azure AD join or the complaint devices as these are the only two conditions with which the devices can be controlled in MDCA. The second scenario is where the user is bringing their own personal devices and there they are accessing the company data. When doing this, the company have to make sure that the company data is protected from data leaks and data theft. So Defender for Cloud Apps can be integrated with any identity provider to deliver this capability with access and session controls. So if you are using Azure AD as the identity provider, these features are integrated by default with the help of, help of conditional access tool. And this control is called as conditional access app control. So in addition to MDCA license to use Defender for Cloud Apps conditional access app control, you also need an Azure AD P1 license. So in short, with conditional access app control, user app access and sessions can be monitored and can be controlled in real time based on access and session policies which can be created in MDCA portal. I'll repeat this again. So with the help of conditional access app control, what you can do, the user app, app access and the sessions, all these can be monitored and these can be controlled in real time. How this conditional access app control work is this uses a reverse proxy architecture and integrates with your identity provider. So if you are using Azure AD as the identity provider, then with the help of conditional access, you can enforce access and session controls with very few settings and creating a conditional access policy is a mandatory step here because we require a conditional access policy to initiate the conditional access app control. Now, if you go to conditional access and create a policy, so there is one control at the, at the end called a session where you will have this option. So option called as use conditional access app control where you can use the custom policy and once this policy is created, then all these users are routed to Defender for Cloud Apps and where you can protect the data with the, uh, with the same feature with the help of or by applying either access or session policies. So you can define the conditions here like which is the user to be part of or which cloud apps, cloud apps it has to be targeted and what are the conditions or locations. And based on all these parameters, you can create a policy and these, these users are routed to Defender for Cloud Apps where you can create a different session and access policy and you can control the application. Now coming back to the deck, deck the user sessions are monitored by redirecting the user through a reverse proxy instead of the app directly. So what happens is when the user requests for an access, the response goes to the Defender for Cloud Apps rather than directly to the app. So when a user access an application, the URL of the application will be replaced with the suffix star or with the suffix uh, dot mcas.ms for example if if the application url is myapp.com then it will be redirected to myapp.com.mcas.ms 
so when i am doing or when i am creating the policy and show you in life how the session or access policy works then i'll be able to show you how the url is getting changed or the how the suffix is getting appended uh, as as dot mcas dot ms now with the defender for cloud apps control these are the major use cases which you can achieve so first one is preventing of the data exfil exfiltration where you can block download cut copy and print of sensitive documents so if any of your users are accessing your documents or your uh, sensitive information from the personal devices you can you can protect the device protect the data by blocking the download or either by blocking the cut copy and print of the sensitive information in the same way if you wanted to uh, add and or reevaluate the user access with an additional authentication for example if you wanted to ask the user to uh, ask for an additional mfa on downloading of any highly confidential file that can be possible so these are the different different use cases which can be achieved with the help of defender for cloud apps control uh, same like this protecting on download Uh, so when the when the device or when the when the data is getting downloaded, it can, it should be downloaded with then label and also the data has to be encrypted so that uh, these uh, any uh, any information is protected with the MIP. These can be integrated with uh, Defender for Cloud Apps and you can apply the policy. So same like this, I have put here different different use cases. which can be achieved with the help of defender for cloud as i will also share the url in the description box so that you can refer it and uh, you can check what are the different ways or different different policies which with uh, with which the applications can be protected in your in your uh, tenant in my next video i will uh, i will showcase you how the session or how the access policies can be created from the mdca console admin portal and i will i will also show you in live how this is exactly working based on the policies which have been created from the admin portal so for now uh, thank you for watching the video till we meet for the next video take care